Good morning. Welcome to the fifth episode of DDO Wiki Talk with Technical 13, Shoemaker, uh, myself. Um, so, I really don't have a lot of things to do yet, but I am sure that with our Turbine Point Code giveaway that we're doing today, that we'll have plenty of contributions from our viewers. Um, so I figured we'll take a, a minute or two at the beginning of the stream here, and I would show you the program that I made to be able to do the giveaway. Um, here it is. It's a simple little form here. Um, let me drag this over a little bit to bump it over. Um, just have a imp couple input boxes and some buttons and a list here. And you can take a look at our code. <sighs> Kids, right? Um, so we have our, a couple publics and our close button, our quit button, um, a clear button to reset it if I decide to start it over. Um, we have our set needed attendees button, click action. Um, our add attendee click action. A roll for winner click action and our random number generator to pick the winner which is just simply however many we have minus the low and our winner here is our low is one and our high is the number of attendees so really simple application we're gonna start that up and we'll drag this over here to the side minimize this and we're ready for our stream so our our goal was to have um, 10 non non moderator viewers today that contributed to the stream we're going to set that to 10 we're going to take a look here it looks like we have isander it looks like we have M A Q U I S T. Who else do we have this morning? Go ahead and put a comment in if you're watching so I can put together our initial list of attendees here. Yep, we have. Virtual Gib. He spoke a little bit earlier. I'd like to get a comment from each of them, though. So it's in the chat log. Purple Skull Gaming, which is my son. Being a little punk like kids are, you know. Virtual Gib. <clears throat> and to mix you there. The topic for today is whatever you guys would like me to work on. Um, I can actually move this stream over here. And looks like we're going to need to log in. Hey, here we go. There's another attendee. We got A M A R E F. Brain Man 4 is Purple Skull Gaming, so he's not going to get two entries. <laughs> nice try, though, young man. Um, log in. Ah, uh, kids. <coughs> so, let's see here. We need five more people to chime in. I know Entermix is there, he just hasn't spoken yet. Um, let's have a look at our recent changes. Uh, 
All right, so create thrall was done by an, an IP editor. Oh, Zevo is actually commenting. Maybe he'll answer his emails that I've sent him. Ah, there's Zentimix. Let's add him to the list here. Um, I'll note that if somebody decides that they want to drop out of the giveaway because they have to leave or something of that nature, then and, and they happen to be the winner, then we will just re-roll and, and get a different winner. Um, so yeah, it's Zevo is our host. Um, so maybe he'll actually get the, so we move that over. Maybe he'll actually get my, my pull request pushed in. Um, sooner than later. Let's see here. What else do we have for recent changes? Hey, we got a couple more here. We got K L E C Z I, and we have DDO Wiki's very own Yoko 5000. Um, we got some uploads here by Mayquist, a couple new versions of the long lasting potions of magical resistance and neely power. Uh, what else do we have? What happened yesterday? Let's see here. Anything interesting? Had some edits. Got a lot of new new people editing, which makes me very, very happy. Um, drought of Midnight. Titan wants me to look at. So let's take a look at the Drought of Midnight. Drought of Midnight. All right, so what are we looking at here, Titan? We got Motive Night Collector, DDO Store. Yeah, this might need to be updated when the new event goes live. Um, I'm not sure what that's called. Um, I suppose we can make a little edit here. And we can take location. Um, we can just do the Night Rebels, and then in small text do formally from Night Rebels, close the small. We use regular HTML open and closing tags for small text for that. Um, I don't know what the new cost is going to be. Um, what is the new cost of the item? So Joe Candy Maker is a new trader. All right. So his name is Joe Candy Maker. And we're actually going to link that. Um, the new cost is. So I got to add a strike button to that thing there. Um. And check if long-lasting potion of 10 spell power. I'm not sure what you're asking for there, Titan. Um, I am a perfectionist that's peculiar about capitalization. It's not important um, as far as the wiki cares, but I like it. Um, we have a template that actually does this for us. Um, 120 chocolates as of right now. So, um, I know Yoko made a new template, Night Revels Ingredient, I think it's called, and chocolate, 120 of them. 
I think that's how it's set up to work right now. So that's how you got your dad bought a curve, right? 120 chocolates? Um, so turn in 120 pieces of darkest chocolate, okay. Um, Lamania is open currently, I do believe. Uh, minimum level none, bound to account on acquire, drought of midnight. Um, you'll have to update the screenshot there, Titan, when you get a chance. And then you can update the description based on the new screenshot. We can't really update that until there's a new screenshot in there showing what it is. Um, so, update some stuff. It's not 120, it's 80. I don't want feedback. Let's not do that. Um, so it's only 80. So let's go back in and edit that. To 80. Um, yep, that is the, the link to check and see if... If it's up, um, I should actually, let's do this. Um, DDO crafting server status. This is one of Agu's pages on his site, on his Your DDO page. And I am actually going to bookmark this. Uh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to bookmark this. Uh, control D is it? Bookmark. Put it on the bookmarks bar. There we go. So we'll have a link to that, and it appears that Lamania is up. All right, let's head back over here. Um, I haven't managed to finish the migration to the new system yet, so I can't actually get on to the live server, um, and I don't have the Lamania client set up on either of, the, either of my desktops. It's on one of my laptops, so that isn't happening, but I do have a flash drive coming this, this week that I plan on installing Lamania on so that I can just like plug and play the game client on whichever system I'm on. Um, apparently... According to talking to some of the devs, it's possible to install the game client to a 16 gigabyte flash drive and be able to run it on just about any PC that has all the other prerequisites. Um, I'll probably add some install files to that flash drive as well for things like DirectX and um, the C++ redistributables and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Let's take a look at the recent changes here. Um, what did our IP address, address change? Did a ton of tests in Lamania. The formula for display DC is 15 plus Warlock level plus Charisma modifier. Display DC seems to be in line with actual results. Let's see what the change was here. So they changed it from observed behavior 1524 DC not affected by enhancement, rather quick casting time, no meta magic feats, also effects, also undead. I'm not sure what that means. Um, Looks like this has been the person that's been working on this anyway. Let's take a look at the page history. Ah, there you go. Titan. Deleting a, a gold spammer, uh, apparently. So let's take a look at the home page. And our banner for the contest that ended yesterday is gone. So let's take a look at recent changes. Um... Actually, let's take a t look at template, home, warning. If I spelled it correctly, it's case sensitive. Let's take a look at this. 
Page history. This should have closed yesterday. Um, 935 comments there. I don't know why Zevo seemed to be so upset about mentioning this contest to give ch people a chance for a year of free VIP, but he does his thing. Um, a lot of people there. Uh, so what we're going to do is we are going to compare all the versions back to where I added the note about our 10th anniversary. Oh, that's right. I'm not on a admin account, so I can't actually edit it. I, I saw that Titan. Um, I actually suggested during our the, the Players Council visit to Turbine that they should try a little bit harder to get him to do a um, a voiceover for maybe some new Forgotten Realms content or something. Um, I think he'd make a great Forgotten Realms content DM voice. Um, so let's see, what can we change here? Recent changes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we still need two more people to be able to do our TP code giveaway. And I've got our TP point code card right here for it that's got the code on the back side. So we'll have a, a drawing for this if we get a few more people. Um, so what else can we edit? Anybody else have some suggestions of things that we can work on? And while I wait for suggestions on things to edit, which is exactly why that is my last turbine point code right now. Um, do I include the YouTube viewers? Um, I don't watch the YouTube. Um, so I am, I, I haven't actually talked to Jerry about the YouTube side of it yet. I don't know if it's even broadcasting to YouTube or how that whole thing works. Um, I should actually ask him about that. I hadn't even considered the YouTube people. Um, so if you're on YouTube and it's streaming to you, which I don't think it is because I haven't set that up on my end, and I believe it, it needs to be, um, then you need to come over to the Twitch side and put a message in chat to have a chance at, at winning the, the Turbine Point Code. Yes, um, there's a new new DDO store coming. A lot of people are upset about the fact that there's no cart for the new store, I believe. Um, currently, well, that's actually a, a problem for Tolero as well because it means that at this time, when the new store goes live, because that won't be an option, she won't be able to offer the hosted... Um, Host the bundles, so you won't be able to buy the Necropolis bundle or the Landlubber bundle, or um, she won't be able to do any like 20% discount on your entire order thing um, for a little while until they figure out how they want to resolve that. Um, so if you're interested in getting any of those bundles, the reason that they have been on sale recently is so that it gives everybody an opportunity to get them before they go away for an unknown amount of time while they try to figure that issue out. So if you want to buy bundles, do what you got to do and buy them now. Because um, it may be quite a while before they're offered again. Oh, let's see here, what else do we have? What do we have on the request page? Eight pages is flagged as deletion. Green steel tidy up. Personal page removal. Hmm. 
I don't think the Agenshar promotion actually went through because he hasn't been editing a lot lately. Some of these need to be archived because they're done. Warnings in all class articles. Let's take a look at that. Looks like it's been fixed. Um, let's see here. So it needs an initial reload. Okay. Um, let's see here. So what else are we going to edit today? Uh, let's see here. Just take a look at long-lasting potion and magical resistance. Uh, and there's a screenshot for that. Make sure it's the most recent one. We're going to bypass the page. Looks like special bonus needs to have a page created um, the melee power one same thing all right What was the deletion log thing on recent changes? All right, let's take a look at that. Anytime a page is moved or a file is uploaded or a page is deleted or user rights change, there are different logs for each one. Um, the deletion log for yesterday shows that Zav, also known as JJMC89, deleted uh, four files that had a file name typo. Um, the upload log should show that he uploaded new versions uh, right here to match those deletions. So it looks like Vess uploaded mogardim.png and Zav added a space to it, re-uploaded it, and deleted the old file. Same thing here, added a space, added a space and an apostrophe in that one, and then apparently... Ornus Arnold needed to be redone as well. Um, wherever that page came from. And he, he linked to the new pages for that. Uh, he also moved um, Long Lasting Potion of 10 melee power to Item Long Lasting Potion of melee 10 power. Um, it looks the same here because when we first set up the item namespace, some people didn't like the fact that everything was prefixed with the word item. It, they found it was redundant. Um, I personally didn't have an issue with it, but because of that, we added some CSS that actually strips the item prefix from page names in display. Um, it's still there in the background. It still does what it's supposed to do. It's just that you don't see it there. Um, so let's see here. Let's take a look at oh, I believe the bonus pages like enhancement bonus Hey, Edward, let's add you to the list here. There we go. So we're up to nine. We only need one more. One more commenter on today's stream to be able to give away a 500 turbine point, tur 500 point code for the turbine store. Let's see here. Enhancement bonus. It's actually got a, a, an actual page. That 
needs to be updated at some point. Uh, bonus types. Let's take a look at this. A music bonus. Interesting. Spooky bonus is already in there. Let's take a look at what a music bonus is, because it's a stub. Some songs, chants, and enhancements available to bards grant music bonus. Hmm. So we're going to copy this. We're actually going to kill stub this because there's no reason that that's going to need to be a kill that that needs to be a stub. It's one of those things that is probably never going to be updated or changed or improved in any way. It kind of is what it is. So let's do a kill stub on that. Special bonus. Um, is there a category for special bonus, I wonder? There isn't. Alright, so it's just what links here. So we got range power, melee power, magical resistance. Apparently there's no PRR one yet. Or spell power ones. Um, I don't know if there are any spell power ones actually. There has to be a spell power one, right? Um, so we're just going to do bonus types for now. We're just going to link to that so that there's something there. It won't be a red link anymore. It'll be a stub instead. So let's take a look. What do we got? Yeah, I'll have to see exactly what special bonus, how it's different from the other bonuses, and then add a note about that. And... Ezekiel San, I believe, makes number 10. So we can roll for a winner once we're done with the stream. Um, we've hit our 10 contributor threshold there. So let's see here. What else do we have today? Let's put up a little note there, see if there's any suggestions for things to edit or work on. Take a sip of my coffee. Apparently there's no suggestions, so we're going to have to wing it. Let's take a look at special pages and see if we can find something. If we reload this, special bonus should go from red to a stub, which it has. Alright, so let's take a look here. Wanted categories, one. That's still that your DDO ag growth. At, uh, Ague thing. So we have a new person here. Look at the recent changes again. All right, in just a minute. The Lily Coyote. Uh, 
And there's our 11th person. Let's take a look at recent changes then. Looks like T Titans made an edit to Drought of Midnight. Let's see what he changed. Night Revels, Black Apple 5, Shadowy Caramel 5, Pinch of Cinnamon Sinister 5. So it takes all of those items. Um, all right, so that's one of the things I wanted to do. I wanted to actually make a new template for Night Revels um, recipes. So let's... Um, Titan, it looks like the only thing here is the, um, error check the name of this item for the fourth item, which is one, two, three, the cin Sinister Cinnamon. Um, the short versions, like Apple, Caramel, Cinnamon, and Almond probably work better. Um, let's take a look. Let's... So, we got... Apple, caramel, cinnamon, and almond. Do a show preview. So there it is. Let's do a show changes just out of curiosity. Let's copy this. change cinnamon to whatever the internal spelling is. We might need to update the template for that. Yoko might have spelled it wrong when he put it in. <laughs> ah, so it's pinch of sinister instead of pinches. You added the ES there. Um, we always do things single, singularly. Um, but we're just going to make it cinnamon. Make it easy. Because there's no need to have all that extra text in there. Mm. Mm. They're all watching in live. I'm watching in person. The store brand Oreos for breakfast. You have Oreos for breakfast. That's fine. Uh, let's see here. So I wanted to make a template. Let's make a template. Uh, recent changes. Let's find the template that Yoko made for... Oh, it's not in there. Um, we can actually filter recent changes by edits to just templates. Night Rebels ingredient. That's what I want right there. Edit. Copy to a new tab. Night Rebels. Recipe. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add the plurals into the Night Revels ingredients that Yoko made. Spooky almonds. Pinches of sinister cinnamon. Shadowy caramels, black apples, pieces of darkest chocolate, 
So we'll we'll add the plural forms because Titan pointed out that it's very likely that people might try to enter those. Excuse me a second. All right, so that was a good sneeze. Let's move on. How would I even better cough? All right, copy, save. All right, so that adds plurals to that. Let's copy this over here. All right, so what do we got? How do we want to do this? We want the ability to have up to five ingredients. We are going to make, let's see here. We're going to do some category work here today. Um, I can never remember things, so we are going to go to mediawiki.org slash wiki slash extension loops, because I don't remember how the loops extension works. Um, let's see here. Four args. It's going to be four args. Ingredient. Uh, key value block statement. So the key is going to be ing. Oh, no, that's not right. Prefix key function iterates for each argument begins with prefix. With each iteration, it puts the argument name minus prefix in a key. So key is going to be ingredient. It then takes the value of the argument, puts it into value in a similar method. All right, so if we're going to do ing quantity, it becomes uh, let's see here. We're going to shorten this prefix because I don't like it to ing underscore. We don't need this if equals anymore. It's simply going to be var quantity. Var ing. All right, so this will allow us to go through. Oh, that's not going to quite work, is it? I'm trying to think about how this is going to play out.
ing almond equals okay so that'll work um So if Enton Mix isn't going to stick around, if he happens to win, we'll just re-roll a second time and get a different winner. Um, I actually added that contingency in, even though I can't, like, have it not even acknowledge those. That would have been more coding than I was willing to invest into such a simple little thing. Um, but we can just re-roll until we get a, a winner that's available. Um, Alright, so let's take a look here. Starting page for this, and let's create a sandbox page, or a test cases page. And the Drought of Midnight is a good example. We can grab this. Yep. I'm in the middle of a Project Titan. Um, I'll look at it as soon as I finish this. Shouldn't take me too, too long. If we copy this right here into here, and we change this to Night Rebels Recipe, we can say ing chocolate equals 80 ing apple equals five change these to equals we'll copy the ink part and we'll just go like this paste 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 so Chocolate's 80, apples 5, caramel's 5, cinnamon 5, almond 5, and we'll do a show preview on that. And 80 chocolates, 5 apples, 5 caramels, 5 cinnamons, 5 spookies. That looks like a great start to me. Um, I can actually copy this. I'm going to use it as a test case. Um, we can go back over to here, and all of this that we copied, we can go like this and use new template for use new template T Night Rebels recipe. Um, I might modify that a little bit to move the numbers, to make the numbers white and move them inside of the box, but I'm not worried about that at the moment. <laughs> really, indeed. Um, Alright, so let's see here. Let's take a look at recent changes now that we know that that's kind of working. Um... See here. Looks like Titans worked on the oil of incandescence and the bottled fear. Uh, let's take a look. You can actually link Joe Candymaker and you can link the Night Rebels. Um, Night Rebels ingredient chocolate 80. You can actually upgrade that to use the new template using Night Rebels recipe. In chocolate equals Zadie. Uh, bottled fear. Same thing with that one, only you forgot to update the quest when you did it. Um, little things, not a big deal, easy to fix. Um, Night Rebels recipe. Okay, so let's edit this. Let's. No include. Let's put this up at the top. When you're doing that, you need to make sure that you don't break things. I'm 
I'm going to wrap this actually in an only include because that's all that we want to have transcri transcluded. Um, make a usage section. Um, make a categorization section. Uh, so for this, we're just going to put in a, a pre-box for now. And it's going to be, go to test cases. What does no include do? That's a good question. Um, we'll go over includes in just a minute. I'm going to copy this into here. So, spacing, space equals space, delete, paste, 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 um, Still haven't found us. Yeah, I guess, I guess we have them there. I'm guessing the moon people is you. No, they aren't. <laughs> if anyone, there's moon people up here, though. Definitely. So we're going to <laughs> add documentation. No. Why would I just make an account called the moon people just to say that I'm a moon person? Because that's something you would do. <laughs> so, really? we're going to move on. Um, <coughs> the moon people are coming. Be I should warned. probably... Be warned. I should probably bold this. And I should actually make it bigger. I don't have a quick button for that. Uh... So, and I don't know if we have a big template yet. <laughs> the guy behind Shu is Shu's son, being really annoying at the moment. But that's what kids are for, right? Hi. That's what kids are for, right? <laughs> uh... Yeah, I'm, I gotta say hi for the microphone, seeing as I don't, I don't have an account logged in right now. So we don't have a big template yet. Let's make one. Let's do um, span style. In HTML5, the big tag has been deprecated in favor of CSS. So we're just going to use, uh, I don't remember. I think it's font dash size. Larger <coughs> one oh, I think that's what it is. And we're gonna no include because people wanna know what that means. And I can't spell. I agree with the moon people. Trying to strike this suck.
Yes, yeah, CSS is cascading style sheet, so that's bigger. But because it's a no include tags, it if I was to take template big. And put it on another page and not include a parameter. You wouldn't see the <coughs> this is bigger. It doesn't actually get transcluded. Um, the only way to get something transcluded is to type it in. Um, I should actually make templates for the things like um, small caps and all that kind of thing. So that's bigger than this. You can see how it looks. Um, so let's take a look here. Recent changes. Let's actually answer the question of what does no include mean? Um, So, no include, include only, and, in, and only include. By default, when the template is transcluded or substituted, the entire wiki text of the template page gets included in that target page. However, it's possible to modify that behavior using tags that specify which parts of the code are to be included. Um, no include says that everything between those two tags will <laughs> not be included when the template is transcluded or substituted, but will be processed on the template's own page only. Um, only include specifies that nothing except what appears in between the inc only include tags will be transcluded. You technically don't need both on the page. If you have one, you really don't need the other. Um, although I've had places where multiple tags have caused issues. Um, and then include only says the text between the include only tags will be transcluded but will not be processed on the template's own page. That is useful for things that require input that don't have it on the template to prevent errors. Um, there's some problems and workarounds. There's a whole documentation section here on Wikipedia. Um, So there is the help documentation on the include tags. And it's time for me to take a coffee break and go to the bathroom. So we're at the halfway mark. I will be back in five or ten minutes.
All right, and we're back. And what do we got? We still got a lot of coughing going on in the background. Coughing in the background. Da -na, da -na -na. <coughs> What's the new template for Night Rebels Ingredient? It is Night Rebels Ingredient. Um, or Night Rebels Recipe. So the ingredient is for just a single ingredient. Recipe right there is for if you have a whole recipe. Uh, do we get anybody new while I was gone for my break? <coughs> Alright, so looks like Titan made an edit while we were gone. Um, uh, no. Titan didn't make an edit. Um, Yoko made an edit while we were gone. Let's take a look what Yoko changed. Might have to, you know, edit war with him or something. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, the rest needs to be double-checked on live. Uh, so... Those are the recipes. Um, the only thing that I'm going to change with that, actually is that we're going to add some spaces here to prevent breakage. Allergy bill has, allergy pill has add some taken. semicolons. <laughs> For some reason, so, sorting doesn't always work properly with color, with, with background, if you don't add the color in. So we're going to manually add color. And then hmm. we're going to add it down here. But does the moon even have a dad? Is Earth the moon's dad? What is the moon's dad? If I ignore him, will he go away? <coughs> uh, let's see here. And then for... For... Um, actually, I don't need the spaces here. What I do want to do though is add style equals text align center. I do want all of these to be centered. Uh, show preview. Uh, so that didn't work exactly as I wanted. I'm going to have to add that to... Oh, that's going to be a pain because of that. Um, I get the reference. Um, let's see here. So, that centers those, but it doesn't actually center each item. So, we're going to make a new template. Isn't that awesome? Um, <laughs> templates like this, um, tables like this and the formatting that goes into them are the reasons that templates very often get made. Um... So, I didn't know the spelling of, of what you were referring to, but I searched the spelling, and I got the reference as soon as I saw the first picture. What we're going to do is we're going to use the Night Rebels page as the base page, and then we are going to do um, recipe, and it's going to be Almond coated apple is going to be a candy. It's going to give a plus five spooky bonus to these. And then it's going to be 60, 10, 20, 0, Zero. And we're going to close that. 
and we're going to do a show preview. Yeah, they've been hitting really hard lately, Titan, on all of our streams. So we got the Night Rebels recipe here. That's actually working as intended at this point. Um, what we're going to do is we're actually going to go down and we're going to copy this first <laughs> item right here. We're going to chop again. that right oh, out. Sorry. We're going to paste it in here. We're going to delete this. This is going to be one no item defined. This is going to be two unknown type. And that's going to be, actually, we're going to make sure that the first letter is always capitalized. Um, three description not defined. And now we're going to get to here, and this is going to be style equals text align center for zero. Then we're going to copy this. Uh, we're actually going to copy it like <laughs> this. And we got one, two, three, four more like that. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. We're going to change this to five, six, seven, eight, simple. formatting template. Um, basically what that does is it puts the text aligned center. Oh, I just noticed that we're actually missing a pipe there. Would have looked funny without it. Um, paste, 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 paste. All right, so that looks good. All right, so let's see here. I'm not sure what Yoko's comment at 901 was. Yes, you actually get keys from killing in the graveyard based on my testing in um, on La Mania with Jerry when I was at um, Turbine. Random idea. Do we need pages for all these things, such as a Kami, Osomium, and Exola? Um, it doesn't hurt to have pages on them. Um, uh, Yoko is not part of the PC this year. You can buy keys in the DDO store too. Yes, you can. And Confucius, I didn't have you on the list yet. That must be your first comment. <laughs> oh, there goes another one. I'm actually going to add a... I think I'm actually going to add a, a little bar in here. A progress bar that shows what our current count is. Um, no Jesus item defined. Kabbalah. When Unknown did you become a philosopher person? I must know. Um, let's do a show preview on this. You don't need to be so loud. The philosopher. Does he know where the philosopher stone is? All right, so let's take a look here. So we got element coded candy, shows the description, and then these are all centered. Um, I should make it though so that zeros don't show. Or show as just empty dashes or something. 
Let's do that. <coughs> um, so let's start on the end here. If it is equals really? eight. But how do I get into the chamber of secrets? I must know. Zero. Um, just do a small dash. <coughs> Let's do a show preview on that. Like from the prison of Azkaban? All right, so that works. Um, we can actually do test cases right on the page here. If it's a one, it doesn't show anything. So we need to make sure that we have the case where if it's not a zero, it actually shows whatever it is. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this over this and we're going to change the eights to a seven. <coughs> And then to a six. <coughs> and then <coughs> to a five. <coughs> and then <coughs> to a four. The keys are bound to account, but they can't go into crafting storage. Um, when I tested on Lamania, the keys weren't bound at all. Um, that may have been something that was changed, though, I suppose. All right, so if ing is zero, don't show the zero. Um, Save page and do a show preview over here. Ah, so now we get little dashes. I like that better. So let's apply this template to the rest of the items. So that becomes zero, ten. Zero sixty pipe pipe recipe. Make sure I got that right. Ah, uh, the ones you bought from the store were bound. Okay. The ones you farm are bound to character? Hmm. Interesting. It sounds like there's a lack of consistency there. Uh. Alright, so... Not sure what that is. All right, so copy this, paste, 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 paste. Paste, paste, paste. Okay. If we do a search, for that, we can actually 
delete, delete, zero, delete, zero, delete, zero, zero, delete, zero, delete, zero, delete, zero, 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 delete, zero, Wait a minute, I've moved down into the next section here. Let's undo this. I'm in the wrong section. Let's go back up here and do it. All right, so delete. Delete. <coughs> zero. Zero. Who do they think were delete. the kindergartners? That delete. is a good question, you people. Delete. I'd like to know the problem. Delete. <laughs> Apparently, Chrome's ability to search for things isn't as good as... Firefoxes, but it is what it is, so we'll work with it. Alright. Um, let's control C, control V, and delete. Delete. Get your foot out of my head. Go ahead. Delete. <laughs> Ow. <coughs> Ow. Feel, man. They make great smelling starts. Selling smelling salts. Somebody goes to the coffee, just put a foot in their nose. This is how, how it works. Feet heal. Um, this is actually going really, really slow. So I am going to go with plan B. I am going to copy this table. I am going to chop it right out of the page. And... I am going to load my text editor. I prefer to use Notepad++. Uh, I'm going to create a new document. I'm going to paste it in here. And I am going to do a search, find, and replace. I am going to look for slash, backslash, pipe, uh, less than, dash, dash, dot, asterisk, dash dash <coughs> this and I'm going to replace it with nothing it's going to be a regular expression search find next see that's not quite what I want so I need to delimit that with a backslash slash and replace it with just a pipe nope that doesn't work either um, If I get rid of that and I add a question mark in there, that'll make it be not greedy. Go back to the top of the page, find, it's still being greedy. Um, all right, let's make it, let's figure out how to make it not greedy. Ah, there we go. So replace, replace, mm, replace, 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 replace. That looks like it's gonna work. Replace all, close. Find the, the doubles here, here, 
here, here, here, and put in zeros. Um, put doubles at the end of each line. Zero, 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 doubles on the end. All right, so let's see here. No. <coughs> we can get rid of that. Lock my phone down and take a nap. We can one, two, three, four, five. Place that with that. We can search for this. We're going to do a normal and just replace a double with a pipe. Get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. Rid of that. All right, so what do we got? So for the no description ones, we're just going to do space dash space. Get rid of some extra things there. We're going to chop all of this out of here and paste it back in here. And now when we do a show preview, yes, you can, Titan. Um, they're all using the template. Um, the only thing I don't like about this display is on my screen, I got a loop here and a loop there. So if I add a forced line break here, so if I go to the top row in the description here, and I change this to a forced line break and I do a show preview that actually fixes both of those for me so that looks good um, so we're gonna save that Subpage template, and here we go. And that's what the table looks like with nice centered values over here. Um, shadow weapons, move the light to night. Looks like there's some things that don't exist yet. Uh, Question. Does your son have a game account of his own? He does. Um, getting the, getting him to actually play is a different story, but he has an account. Um, let's see here. <coughs> Recent changes. Yet. Image. Lasting <coughs> Night Revels key. Looks like we got some new stuff from there. Out the two of our screens. <laughs> so there's our key. Um, try streaming alone with black out Yoko, screen. is the um, is the is that bound to account version? Is that the one that you farm, or is that um, VIP. the one that you get from the DDO Very store? Important pig. I'm assuming it's the one that you farm, and I'm assuming the one you get from the store is. Or maybe it's the other way around. Um, a quick question. Some of the newer pages are sized differently. You have to scroll left and right to see the whole page. Can that be resized or what is it? Um, newer pages such as... Let's take a look. Like the Epic Ivy Helix, for example. 
Um, I don't have any left or right scrolling. Ah, so the bound to accounts to store what? Should probably add a note about that on the description page that that is the one from the store. Um, and then maybe we can actually add a screenshot or even better would be to add a screenshot of the farmed one and then note that the ones from the store are bound to account instead. Um, I'm not sure what you mean about scrolling. I don't see any scrolling here. Um, chances are if you're seeing scrolling, it's because you have zoomed in to some level and the size of everything forces you to have to scroll back and forth. Pressing control zero will actually resize that to what size it is on the wiki. Some of these have horrible formatting and need to be updated. Let's bring this back up to a reasonable readable size, which is right about there. For the Night Rebels master page. Yeah, Titan, I see you play on Thalanis. Um, you should probably upgrade and, and start playing on Kenneth. <coughs> um, so let's see here. Night Rebels. I have a feeling that we don't really need description fields for returning items. Um, do you have a specific returning item in mind, Yoko? Um, if you could add a link to a specific item that shows what you're talking about. Um, I'm not sure what you mean. The Night Rebels, returning item, description fields. Oh, you mean this table down here? Um, yeah, probably not. I, I, I figured it out. Probably not. <laughs> Blue Queen has gotten fond of you. I'm sorry to hear that, Titan. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> moving on. Enough of the jokes. Um, <coughs> Yoko, on that same note, um, the returning items probably really don't need a type. Just name and cost would be plenty. Um, so if we were to do that, we could modify our template so that we add a parameter that if... Yeah, that's a pain. How would I deal with that? Well, it's not a very big template. I'd probably make two versions of it and have a parameter, a switch parameter that says returning, um, if returning is yes or true or whatever, then use a format without those two fields otherwise use the format with the two fields um, and then it would default to returning as false because I really don't feel like going through and changing everything or I could go through and change everything it wouldn't matter um, let's see here recent changes um, alt shift R so if I hit Alt Shift R, it will actually refresh my recent changes. Haverdashed. If you were to go off Greek mythology, tight, the Titans are what? The 12? Like what? 12? Or 6 kids. 7 to 35. The primarial prim sky god, which is called Uranus. So Titan is a god of Uranus. Issue, you should create a redirect page or something with the Maybar loot that was taken from the Mimic event. Um, I think Titan's the son of Uranus. Titan's the son of Uranus. Make note of it. Redirect page or something with the Maybar loot that was taken from the Mimic event. I'm not sure what you mean. Do you mean on the item pages themselves, Titan? Because the things taken from the Mimic event were taken from Maybar, so they've been bumped around a few times um or do you mean a maybar loot page itself <coughs> yes you mean on the item pages themselves okay um 
So, for example... Um, probably. We can't say for sure, but it's probably going to get new loot. Um, if we take Bottled Fear, for example... Um... That's not do anything, man. Um, so I'm I'm assuming that this is what you meant by scrolling, and that's just because it zoomed. Come on, it's enough. Um, that's just because it zoomed in, and the images are a set size, and the text box is fairly big here. Um, I'm actually going to go through and redo the item templates into a single template. Um, You are wrong. The keys you farm are not bound at all currently, but that may change when it goes live. I've seen that happen before. Um, so, Bottled Fear. Um, so, Titan, what did you mean by creating a redirect page? Did you mean... Well, let's take a look at the Mimic event page. It doesn't exist. Let's search for it. Who knows what it was called? Mimic Hunt. There we go. So... It looks like there's some broken, broken HTML code in here that we need to fix. Let's take a look. That's interesting. I don't know why the subs are showing. Make a master page for the Mimic event. Well, what I'm thinking on this is that we have this card combinations and reward, right? If we take this and we go... Event reward revisions, and we say, or actually, we don't even need to do that because we already have that. If we take all of this, right, we chop it out, and we go like this. Maker. Yeah, we'll take a look at that in just a minute. All right, so if we scroll down, then we have our Mimic Hunt um, iterations. Uh, scroll back up a little bit. That ended up on the same line. We need to put a line space in there. Correct. It's going to be. Go down to iteration, so iteration one, card combination and reward. Um, you can actually go thing, thing, one, two, three, and one, two, three. 
Ow. Um... So if we do that, we do that. All right, so I'm going to take another five minute break. Um, we'll be back shortly. Alrighty, um, we're back. Let's pull up this. Right, let's take a look here at my Twitch chat box. Oh yeah, Rift Maker. So let's. Um, we were in the middle of editing a page when. Um, Um, when when life happened, um, so cards should probably be moved down into iterations as well, because there most likely won't be cards the next iteration. Um, actually, we're not going to make any changes here right now. Um, when the next iteration comes out, we are simply going to move this page to mimic hunt um, first iteration or something of that nature, and then create a new page for it. Um, and I'm still not sure why it's doing this. Inspect element. Why isn't it recognizing the close tag?
Well, let's see if we can fix that. I have an idea to fix that. Um, the current ones on, on Laminia Titan, I believe, are unbound, but that might be just for testing purposes. Um, they may actually end up being bound when it goes live. It's really hard to tell that ahead of time. Um, because the SUPs aren't working here, let's get rid of them for now. I don't know why they're not working, what's causing that. Um, center tag's also been deprecated. Um, but I'm not going to mess with that right now. Doesn't have forward, back, home links anymore. Um, interesting. Not sure about that. Um, can ask um, Varg or Steelstar or Bob if they know anything about whether the keys will be bound or not in IRC. Um, IRC is a good place to ask questions of the developers themselves if you are polite and courteous and ask them in a nice tone um, if you demand if you, if you insult them and demand information they will either ignore you or insult you back and tell you you know quit being a ninny um, so all right, so that fixes that, except that it doesn't quite look right. Um, let's go back to the home page. Um, hit IRC. Open that. All right, so 20 minutes left for the stream. Um, DDO stream. Connect. Let's move this over here. Let's slash J D D O. Start with a note about that. Um, and then we'll say And we may get a, a developer question answer. So Yoko, does that mean you're stepping down from the drawing? Entomex already stepped out of the out of the drawing.
Let's make my picture go away so that if Varg or Steel answers, we'll see it quickly. Seeing me is not that important. Ah, so Steel Star says no. So the keys will remain unbound when the event goes live. Or at least that is the current plan. Oh, wait. See this? When you politely ask the developers questions, they answer. Um, so check out IRC sometime. You can easily get to this DDO channel on IRC on SourceryNet. Um, you can either use your own client or um, you can go to ddochat.com and use the Mibit client offered by um, CSI Stormreach. Um, so Steelstar says store keys are bound to account, non-store keys are unbound, and he does not believe that there are any change to plant any plans to change that. So you've heard it here first. Um, nobody in DDO Wiki channel except for me and me and a bot so uh, let's see here recent changes looks like there have been some edits going on which is great that's what i love to see um snitch and the lich uh, few little modifications. Let's take a look at Snitch and the Lich. Duration. So if there's no duration, I believe we can just type in variable for duration. Uh, I believe if we just put variable in there, then that error message will go away. Duration variable works just fine. And then if we go back to recent changes, To be honest, so many keys dropped when I was doing testing that really wasn't an issue. Now let's edit this for variable duration. Not sure what the, um, the XP is going to be until it goes live. I know that it was way out of sync originally when I, when I tested it. Um, let's see here. What are the other Night Rebels? Quests. Alright, so those haven't been created yet. I'll also note that there may be additional challenges in future iterations of this event. Or either additional or different challenges. Um, they actually might change over time based on a public announcement made by Cordovan a few weeks ago. So we're down to 15 minutes left of the stream. Are there any other questions or things that you'd like to see how to work on?
Uh, yes, I can put my picture back up. Because our IRC stuff. Ooh, people said stuff. Let's take a look here. What have people said? Holy sword on, Lam on Lamania not working on bow or crossbow. I hope you guys didn't forget to bring it back. Glad. I hope they leave it out and give us plus 20 hearts instead. Yeah, I know, some of you might not agree with that, but I'd rather have a 20 heart than have Holy Sword work on ranged weapons, because, you know, ranged weapons aren't swords. I'm sorry, but that's just, you know, my personal opinion on that. It may not, you know, necessarily represent other wiki editors or other players' council members, but that is my personal opinion. Um, so, let's see here. Recent changes. Yes, Titan. Currently, Severlin has said that it's going to be a coupon for two plus five hearts, and I do not believe that is sufficient. Um, unless they're offering, you know, their normal sale where if you buy a plus five, you get a plus 20 for free, or buy a plus 20 and get a plus five for free type deal. Um, would for you or whatever the code was for that if they bring that back then that might be worth it but we'll have to see um, so since we're running down to the last few minutes um, let's drag this up over here and drag this up over here. Let's let's do our drawing. Um, let's do our drawing here. Um, we know that Yoko and Entomix have stepped out, so if they end up being the winners, we will just roll again until we get somebody that hasn't won before. Um, or that is still available. Um, I believe that Purple Skull Gaming is also not here currently. So, and I've already given him a couple point codes, so. Um, oh, the Rift Maker thing. Absolutely. Let's, let's take a look at that first real quick. I had forgotten about that. Reminding me is good. I am an old man that forgets things. So, Rift Maker. We put in I Rift Maker, not Wrist Maker. That doesn't work. Rift Maker. So it looks like it's got a little bit of scrolling, but that's just because I am zoomed in and these pictures are wide. If I was zoomed out to default size, it'd be no scrolling. Oh, so we get another a last minute attendee here. Add that one to the list. All right, so zoomed out. I'm not getting any scrolling there. Um, like I said, any scrolling that you see is likely due to you being zoomed in. Um, control zero should reset your zoom level and fix that. Alternatively, um, I am actually going to be working on creating a new template for items. Um, I think I said that a couple times already. Um, template item. Template items. Um, I actually have one started, but I don't remember. where it went, let's, none, template, 
Delete, search. Ah, named item. There it is. Nope, it's sized exactly the same as other pages. It just has images in it that make it look that look like it's different. Um, yep, that's just the images in the layout of the page. Um, like I said, when I actually finish this template, um, those issues will go away. But it's going to be a while because... This template right here is an attempt to merge all of the other named templates. You can see how that, that looks there. Um, it's going to be a, an attempt to merge template named um, ammunition, armor, um, named clothing, named ingredient, um, named weapon, named shield, named jewelry, named clothing. All of those are going to be merged into a single template. Um, once that's done, then I'll worry about formatting and widths and scrolling and stuff. But until then, not too concerned about it. Um, just have to scroll over for now. And are there any other questions? All right, so here we go for our, our roll. We got eight minutes left for this stream, or seven minutes. Let's bring this up here, and let's roll for the winner. It looks like our winner today is number 10, Iskul San. Um, You are, you are today's winner, and I see that you're here, so that is awesome. That was a practice roll. <laughs> yes, if if Yoko or Entomix had been the winner, we could just, you know, re-roll and kept re-rolling until we get somebody different. Um, but our first winner right here is our winner, so I will be sending him, inboxing him a code shortly after the stream ends. And close that, so we're done with that. <coughs> and I believe that just about concludes our stream for today. Um, Zoom in a little bit there. Um, be sure to tune in again next week. Um, based on the condition of the DDO store, um, I may or I may tighten, um, although. If I do a, if I do such a giveaway, it would probably be more likely to be a an in-game item or something of that nature, or possibly even a piece of swag that you could send me your address and I could mail it to you, such as a dice bag or you know something of that nature. Um. Shoe's son is really annoying. Um, you know, just just those things, you know. Um, 
Titan, if if you're interested in doing giveaways, I can give you the code. I, I can send you the application that I created for that. Um, I want to make a few more modifications for error checking or that kind of thing. But um, yeah, next week I have to talk to Cordovan when he returns from his vacation. Um, his his vacation from streaming. Um, I believe he's still like in the office. He's just not doing streams because of the new store is keeping him really, really busy. Um, but I believe that um, Gut Guns, you came in a little bit late. Um, we already did our giveaway. Um, but yeah, um, talk to Cordovan. I believe he said that he's willing to do some of the offer some items for the giveaway. Um, which reminds me that if we go to category, the list of items that he has been authorized to give out for these types of events is listed on community loot list items. Um, so maybe you could get you know a Merry Mini, Mini Mimic or a Winter Wolf Pup or something of that nature. Um, any of these items, really. So, yeah, we got DDOPL streaming in Polish today at 1. Be sure to check that out. And then, I believe the next show is at 5. Um, 4 o'clock, DDO... No, 5 o'clock, Twitchy Tuesdays. And then you can see the rest of our schedule there. Well, that's good, because you missed it. Ha! Uh, yep, see more of you does Twitchy Tuesdays at 5. Um, I'll see everybody again next week. Same <laughs> bat time, same bat channel. Um, hopefully I'll have my flash drive and the ability to hit Lanania, or I'll be on the other system and be able to do a little bit of screenshotting. Um, everybody have a great week, and I will see you next week. <laughs>